fellow Kenyans, Ebu, let's gather here kidogo. Let me just try to be the whistleblower on this one. How comes no one has talked about what is happening on Glovo? Because yesterday I did an order or I made an order. And then this guy calls me and tells me that um, the app is having an issue, but he has received my order. He tells me that the Glovo people normally pay them, but because the app is having an issue, he's not able to pay for whatever I had ordered. So he's like, um, in fact, just pay for Lipa the bill for the things that you've ordered. Akaniambia the exact amount. Akaniambia vitu zenyamechukua. And then he's like, um, nikileta, nikikuletea, then you'll pay the delivery. Aka Mimi, so naive. Aki. Yenye Nairobi, Nairobi is not for the faint-hearted. So Mimi, nika tumia umse pesa. Na nika chill. Nika actually, I left my phone and I continued doing other things in the house. So later, like after 10, 15 minutes, a guy shows up to my house. I'm like, oh yeah, my Glovo is here. So I go get the door. I open the door. And then I'm like, okay, sinili kutumia ile pesa ya shopping, so wacha ni kutumia ya delivery. Sike is like, ay, mimi, uli nitumia pesa apana, uja nitumia pesa, madam. Ah, it's like, apana, I've already sent you money. And he tells me, you know, I, I think, madam, chine me happen, you've been conned. Kuna iki tu ime koi kiendelea, like, watu wanachukua details za shoppers, alafu wanawambia walipe, so... Mimi huja lipa. And kweli, I check, because the person I sent to money... It wasn't him. Like, it wasn't his number. It wasn't his name. Now I try to call this guy. This guy has a mezima simu. In fact, I'm a shy withdraw pesa because I tried to do a reversal. <laughs> and I was just like, where? Yani, in Nairobi, maze. Yani, unaibiwa left, right, and center. So, of course, I called the global people. I'm like, yo, this is happening, this and that. They're like, yeah, I think there's a problem. There's a... Uh, Either the shoppers or before the before your order reaches the rider. Hey, Nikajuliza Kweli, is our information safe? Like, is our personal information safe? And it made so much sense that, oh no, not, like the way you can randomly get messages on like WhatsApp or whatever, or you're added to some strange groups on WhatsApp and you're wondering what is happening. Like, people are accessing our information and it's not, it's not even funny. But the journalist can be bad, your person. I just the thought that you know someone somewhere is accessing information incorrectly, and now where? And you only may be one Nairobi maramob. Hey, but he, this one, this one was deep, bana. Like you know, we global because you're probably having a bad day. You're like, I can't go. I can't even go out. Let me just get something so that I'm able to maybe cook dinner or something. But where? Guys, there's a problem. There's a problem on Glovo. I really hope they fix it. But for now, I just feel like I cannot use the app anymore because it is not safe. Also, Pesa will end up on IC Tempo Aquibium to Pesa. Anyway, let's just raise awareness on that.